Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kurt Buchanan. Thank you so very much for hitting on my video. I really do appreciate it. Um, I just want to say to you guys that you have definitely made the right choice. My channel definitely has some of the best quality content on YouTube as it relates to making money online with Shopify, eBay, or Amazon. All right, so in tonight's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about setting up your uh, Shopify uh, shipping rates uh, for your dropshipping store from AliExpress. All right, so let's not waste any more time and let's just get started with this tutorial. All right, so to set up your shipping rates in Shopify, um, you first have to log in, go to your back end, and where it says settings here at the bottom, you want to click on settings. All right, so the first thing you want to do once you're in your settings is to go to general, right? And you want to scroll all the way to the bottom to where it says unit system and change it from metric to imperial. All right, and uh, put the default weight unit at pounds. Once that's done, you hit save, and then uh, you go back to settings and click shipping. All right. Um, once you are in shipping, what you'll find is that, is that you have your ship from address at the top. Just below that, you'll have shipping zones. Um, what I've done is I've deleted all my shipping zones just so I can show you exactly how to set it up from scratch. All right, so I do suggest you follow exactly what I do. Delete all existing shipping zones. Uh, nothing is going to go wrong. Just follow exactly what I do. Uh, once you delete all existing shipping zones, then I want you to scroll to where it says packages. Right, scroll to where it says packages. Then you want to click on edit. Right, and once you're in edit, so where it says edit sample box, I want you to change the weight of, uh, from the empty, of the empty box to 0 0.00 and click save, All right? Once that's done, then you want to go back to where it says uh, zones and rates. And now we're going to set up a shipping zone because as you can see here, it is saying add shipping zones to start accepting orders. If you don't have shipping zones, you cannot make any sales on uh, Shopify. All right, so I'm going to add a shipping zone since I've deleted all previous uh, shipping zones. All right, so since I'm drop shipping from AliExpress, right, I just need one shipping zone, right? I need a worldwide shipping zone to cover every country everywhere in the world. All right, so uh, I'm just going to call this worldwide, right, since it's a worldwide shipping zone. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, as you can see here, it says customer won't see this. All right, so I'm just calling mine worldwide. Where it says countries, this is where you want to add the countries that will fall in that shipping zone. All right, so since we will only be creating one shipping zone, you just want to click on where it says rest of world. What this does is that it captures every single country uh, that is in the Shopify database. So I'm just going to click on that and click add. All right, so if you want to see which countries are actually in that zone, you can just click this. Uh, arrow right here and you get a list of all the countries in that shipping zone all right so let me just collapse that once that's done the next step is to actually move to where it says weight base rates all right so for uh, setting up our shopify uh, uh, shipping rates we're using weight base rates all right so we're going to skip price based rates and we're going to skip calculated rates all right so where it says weight based rates i'm going to add rate and this is where it all starts all right so like i said this is the actual shipping plan my shipping schedule that i use to set uh, to set up my free plus shipping and also my regular shipping rates uh, in my shopify store all right so first i'm going to set up uh, the shipping rates for my free plus items so i usually just call this free product shipping all right, so you want to give this uh, section a really good name that makes sense for your customers because your customers will see this when they're checking out. All right, so let me explain uh, the range for the weights, right? Uh, for your free plus shipping items, when you're listing these items in your Shopify store, I want you to use uh, the weight for all of your free plus shipping items to be 0.1, all right? All right, so for the minimum order weight, it's going to be 0.1. And for the maximum order weight here, it's going to be 0.1 as well. All right. And the rate for this item that weighs 0.1 pounds uh, is dependent on you. But for me, it's always 5.95. All right, so I'm setting that 
at five ninety five. So if someone was uh, to come to my store, buy one of my free plus shipping items that weighs point one uh, pounds, they will pay five ninety five at checkout for that one item. So what I usually do is to add up to ten of these rates um, in my store in increments of point one of a pound. All right. So my next rate it will have the same name. So it will be free product shipping right and this now becomes 0 0.2 0 0.2 right and the rate here becomes 11.90 right because it's now two so if the person is supposed to add two of the items that weighs 0.1 of a pound then uh they their weight in their cart will now becomes 0.2 of a pound and the total amount at checkout due would be 11.90. I hope you understand where I'm going with this. All right, so the next rate would be point three of a pound, point three of a pound. And the, the rate for this, based on my schedule, is 17.85. And I would just hit done. And I'm going to do this up to 10. Or maybe up to 5. Let's just go up to 5. Just uh, save some time with the videos. I'm going to do, this is now 0.4 to 0.4. The rate for a 0.4 item becomes 23.80. So here I'm just going to put 23.80. And that's done as well. I'm going to add one more for the free product shipping. Uh, this becomes 0.5 of a pound to 0.5 of a pound. And the rate for 0.5 of a pound is 29.75. Right, and that's done. So basically, for my free plus shipping items, this is what my rate table looks like. I could go further all the way up to 10, maybe. Uh, I doubt anyone will come to my store and buy more than 10. Uh, if you think you can sell more than 10 at a time, then you can start at an even smaller number and increase it in increments, go all the way up to, say, 0.9. All right, so for my free shipping items, I'm going to start the weight at one pound and increase it in increments of one pound. All right, so this now becomes my free shipping item. So these are items that my customers will pay full price, but I will be giving free shipping. So the weight starts at one pound to one pound, and I'm giving free shipping, so I'll just hit the free shipping button. All right, so I'm going to go again. This is free shipping. Um, this is now two pounds, two pounds, free shipping. I'm going to do this five times as well. I could do more than five, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do five. That's three pounds. Now I'm going to go four pounds. I'm going to show you exactly how it works, how it looks at checkout also. So you want to stay tuned for that. So I'm now at four pounds, free shipping done. Add another rate. This is still free shipping. Uh, the rate here is now five pounds. Five pounds, free shipping done. All right, so as you can see, I have a rate table set up for my free plus items and for my regularly shipped items, which I will be offering free shipping. These are my regular price, regular price items. All right, so basically once that's done, um, I can just hit the save button and this will save my shipping settings in my Shopify store. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is to actually show you um, two sample products. I'm gonna go through the checkout process of one free plus shipping item and a regular uh, priced item. All right, so let me find out one of my free plus shipping items. Uh, let's use this one. And let me find a regular price item, which I'm offering free shipping on. Let's use this one. I know this one for sure is a regular shipped item. All right, so as you can see here, I'm in my edit menu of a product listing. All right, so when you're adding products to your Shopify store, if it's a free plus shipping item based on the schedule that we just set up in our store for free plus shipping, you want to ensure that the weight for those items is 0.1 of a pound. So I'm just going to check that. So
So what I do here is just select all the items in the store, click on edit variants. Once I click on that, then I'll be able to add another field, another column to see the weight column to see what the weight of these items are in my store. All right, so let's just give this a second to load. Um, once that's ready, you will see exactly the weight of these items based on what I entered when I was uh, creating these product listings in my store for my free plus uh, shipping items. So as you can see here, um, the weight column is not showing. In order to get the weight column, I need to click on add fields and just click on weight. It's going to add a weight column somewhere here. Show me what the weight of each of these listing uh, listings are in my store. It should be 0 0.1 since these are my free plus shipping items. All right, so I'm not going to skip uh, the video. I want to see, want you to see exactly uh, what's happening here. All right, so as you can see, the weight column is now showing up here. And in the weight column for each of these items, the weight is set at 0.1 of a pound. All right, so remember, I'm telling you that for your free plus items, you want to set the weight at 0.1 of a pound for each of those items. All right, so this is great. So I'm going back to the actual listing here. I'm going to click on view uh, for this item. As you can see here, it's a free item uh, that says just pay shipping. I'm going to add it to the cart. I'm going to remove some products that I already added to the cart. So now I'm going to go through the checkout process just so you can see that the shipping rate that I've entered for a point one of a pound shows up at, as uh, 595. What I'm going to do is to go back. I'm going to go back. Uh, let me go to my cart. I'm going to increase the quantity to, to three, all right? And go back through the checkout process just to show you that it works. So if the person was supposed to buy three of these free items, then my shipping rate would now be 1785 to cover the cost of three of shipping three of these items. All right, so that's how it works. Um, let me show you an example for a regular, a regularly priced item. Uh, so this is one of my regular priced items, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Edit variants. I'm going to show uh, select the weight, just so you can see what the weight column is saying. And for my regular items, as you can see, I put the weight at one pound for all of my regular uh, priced items. All right, so let me go to this listing. All right, let's view the listing. Uh, I'm going to add two of these items to my cart. As you can see, the selling price is $30 for a lot of five. I'm adding two lots. Add this to cart, so the selling price should be $60. Let me just remove the bracelet since I already showed you uh, that example. Uh, go through this checkout process here. So what you can see is that free shipping is what uh, this is coming up at because this is one of my regular price items and I want this to have free shipping uh, in my store. Let me go back to the card just to show you that it works. I'm going to change the quantity to say four. Then I'm gonna go check out again. And as you can see, even if I increase the quantity to four, I'm still offering free shipping on this item based on uh, the shipping rates that I've uh, created in my store. And um, just to show you one more time, if I was to even reduce this to one and click checkout, um, it will still remain at free shipping for that item. So as you can see, guys, that is basically how you create uh, shipping rates in your store. That's how you set up shipping rates for your Shopify dropshipping store the easy way. All right. So one thing I do suggest that you do is that you extend the list of your free product shipping items uh, from five to say probably 10 and also for your free shipping items from five to say 10. All right, you can do more if you want, but I find that 10 works great and you just need to have one shipping zone for your Shopify dropshipping store. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to link uh, this actual template, this sheet uh, in the video description so you guys can download or use this uh, sheet as a guide as well when setting up your shipping rates. All right, so that's it for this video really hope you enjoyed it if you learned anything from this video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button 
Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.